Welcome back to Urban Traditionalists. Today we are going to go over how to dehydrate sweet peppers so you can turn this into this and keep it in your kitchen for use all week long. So here's the sweet peppers and a little bit of my setup. I purchased these sweet peppers from a local farmer and they are all slightly damaged or misshapen. As you can see as I'm pausing the frame for you, there's some black spots these peppers are absolutely fine to eat. They just get sold at a discount because they look funny. This entire sink full of peppers cost me about $4.50, if you will. You can see some are misshapen, but for the most part, they're in perfect form and delicious. It is super easy to dehydrate sweet peppers. You just chop them up into one inch cubes and fill your tray. You don't have to be super cautious about leaving space between the peppers. They will dehydrate just fine if they're touching. Not all food is like that when you dehydrate it. So you just want to fill your dehydrator nice and full. The temperature and time for peppers is about 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, it is about you know, 12 to 14 hours respectively. This is about three hours left in the dehydration and you can see that some of the peppers are still quite large and they're malleable. You do want to make sure that they're dry and snapping. So I did increase the time. Uh, I don't remember the total time on these, but again, it is about 12 to 14 hours. This is at the end of the dehydrate. You can see now that they do snap and are quite brittle. It is hard to see with the gloves, but it's also important to wear gloves when you handle your dehydrated products because you don't want the oil transfer from your finger onto the food, especially if you're going to be long-term storaging these in, you know, say Mylar bags or that sort of thing. This is the finished product, the entire sink full of peppers in this bowl, and we will be storing it in just a mason jar to keep in our kitchen so we can add these peppers on a whim to sautés or soups, spaghetti, omelets, all of that, make it really accessible and easy to use. Dehydrating peppers is super easy. You just chop them up, put them in, set the timer, and away you go. So we're going to keep this video super short, and I hope you learned something today watching it. Thanks, guys.